What is your perspective about the uh, the lockdown, one month lockdown uh, by the directive of the Prime Minister of the African Republic government in exile, which currently in Finland, that the government offices and starters secretariat will be on lock and key, under lock and key, until the one month is over, which is coming up on the 28th of August. Your take on this. The lockdown in Biafra land of government presence or government access is the right thing to do because it's under United Nation self-determination chart which is called civil disobedience not civil anarchy not civil killing not guerrilla war so it's normal. It doesn't kill anybody. It doesn't destroy anybody. You understand? And the Samuel Nekpa, being a lawyer, international man, a learned man, a wise man, a diplomatic man, understand this rule. Therefore, that's why he apply it in Biafra land. To let the government to feel, to hear more about Biafran agitators. To feel the impact. Now, it's not only federal government access, both state access. And they have said it will start on 28th, but before 28th, he will map out and bring out the template or blueprint of those access that will be unlocked and key for this one month. Not every business area will be locked down. But you map up the, the the main ones that will be locked down, which may compromise maybe oil sector, because that's the source of Nigerian presence, the main Nigerian presence in Biafra land. And other Nigerian establishments, and what that establishment, how many establishments they have in Biafra land? How many establishments? Okay, it may compromise government establishment. I mean, state establishment, federal government establishment. How many do they have in Biafra land? Eh? But let it be done to prove to both federal government of Nigeria, state government of Nigeria in Biafra land that Biafrans are serious for their independence. Okay, someone if I intend to register the the legitimization of Nigerian presence in Biafra land as a part of uh, the actualization uh, agenda of uh, Biafra restoration. Yes. Yes. With this lockdown of government access in Biafra land, it's part of the process that we will go. Biafra we go before getting the independence. It's part of the process. Therefore, it's not wrong. It's normal. It's right. Don't you think that the Nigerian security operatives, the military will, of course, vehemently resist uh, their move? This is why I told you before that is civil disobedience, no civil anarchy, no civil war, no civil kidnapping, no civil intimidation. This is why I told you so before. Because I know that Nigeria will not accept it easily. Because if they accept that their access or their presence in Biafra land will be under key and lock, which we have already accepted that Biafra have to exist. They have already accepted that Biafra have to go. They have already accepted that Biafra have authority, Biafra have government. So they would like to prove that no, they are still in charge of Biafrans as they are fighting Biafra to remain in Nigeria, they will still come out to prove. But all those areas that someone said he will map, map out to be under key and lock, I am advising Nigerian security agent to stay off from that area. Possible, let them stay in their barrack. Dismount to the checkpoints. Stay in their barracks. So there'll be no anything unknown from men. 
Because when they come up as unknown, when they come up to stand, even the people that are not their friends may wear the mask and come out as unknown government and say kill Nigerians by Nigerians and say it's our someone and it's order. It's unknown government, someone and it's order. You understand? Anybody can be unknown government and kill in the name of their friend agitators. They'll be tarnishing the image of their friend agitators. Giving someone a bad name for Nigeria to be said, ah, the Finland, hand him over. See what they have caused because of his seat at home. Someone said they will be ruthlessly and mercilessly dealt with. Of course, if they eventually uh, invade Biafran territory, uh, the chairman actually understands, of course, the strength of his enemies or his op opponents, Nigeria. Now, someone may not understand the strength because it's when you engage somebody that you know the strength of somebody. When you have engaged him or her, you may not know, know the strength. But what I am trying to say that if Nigeria security agent, Nigeria will not give their marching order and stay aside, obey the law of the country of Biafra. I think there will be nothing like dealing with it ruthlessly. It's when, you, it's when you're coming up to characterize the order that whether ruthlessly or not ruthlessly will come out. And to make sure you cannot come and be killing their friends, therefore we fold their hand looking at you. Neither if there's not nothing they can do, neither they throw stone on you, or they tell you, Waka, it shall never be well with you. They can do it. And if you run, if they are running, you pursue them, enter house. They have nothing to do than to open door for you to enter. Then if you enter, whatever you see, you take it. Somebody said in his last uh, broker that he will not engage in conventional war with Nigeria. Does it mean that uh, he is accepting defeat, not having the capacity, of course, to to challenge Nigeria in when it comes to conventional war? Now, conventional war, I myself, I don't like it. And it's good that he, 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 he cancel it. He, he root it out from this struggle. But if eventually it leads to conventional war, what will be the fate of their friends? It cannot lead to conventional war. That is why it's following, it's following it diplomatically, systematically, politically, internationally, economically, and otherwise. That the dictator should prepare for the wars. Don't you know that? that? That otherwise may end up in guerrilla war, but not in conventional war. Now, if you come in conventional war, the Nigerian army have already built the structure. The Nigerian security agent have already built the structure in Biafra land. It's not easy to dismantle them with their gun. They are the holding gun now. We haven't hold gun. So if it comes to conventional war, Niger Biafra will succumb again to Nigerian defeat? Biafra will not succumb against Biafra defeat because this time every eye world have open eye. There's no more lying propaganda that they deceive other people not to support Biafra. Biafra must surely have people to support them. Biafra must surely have people to support them. Um, but before then, before then, they have killed so many people, both in Nigeria and in Biafra. So many souls have died in the land of Biafra. And Biafra is going to be polluted with blood. These are what Sam Manekpa is trying to avoid. Not that he's a coward. After all, he's a spiritual colonel. He can you know what war means. But he's trying to avoid shedding of blood continuously in Biafra land. Not that if before Nigerian security agents or Nigerian armed forces will kill 10, 10 Biafrans, Biafra will kill them at least five or six. You understand? In the first war, Biafra war, eh? only in one day, Nigeria lost 18 soldiers. Out of 20,000 soldiers, the Mokala marched from Abag and I want to come and capture Kondesha. They lost 18,000 soldiers out of 20,000 with only one Obunigwe. With only one Obunigwe, only one explosion. How possible is that? Then go and watch the film of Abagana. Even to the extent, the whole world say this is at the highest battle. Biafra have ever won. But one himself accept that this ever battle, Biafra have already won. He weakened Nigeria. He weakened.
Nigeria managed to enter, Moritala managed to enter Onisha with only 2,000. And that 2,000 because Biafra shoot, shoot, no more bullet in their gun. No more bullet in their gun. They were looking them trooping in to Onisha. Had they been Biafra, each Biafra soldier has up to 10 bullets in their gun, they could have minimized them. You understand? So think of that and think of now. I'm telling you only on Nigerian side, only Abagana, not other areas. Okay, now come to think on Biafra side. Only Kwashoko, how many children he killed? Only Hunger, how many soldiers he killed? So they sent in battlefield, Biafra soldier will shoot, shoot, because of for one week, three days to one week, no food. Then we shoot, 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 and collapse. If they have bullet to shoot, they will collapse. So they said, if you see a woman, a soldier man, looking naked, like a skeleton from their front side. So is it what you want it to be again? Eh? All this is someone that have read them and rule conventional war out. By the grace of God and by the will of God, conventional war will be out. But in any way, process, Biafra will follow to get their e They will get it. They will get it. You understand? And this uh, lockdown is part of the process. After this lockdown, any other thing can come up. It depends on the plan Biafra government in exile has.